and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDLE at checkout for 20% off your order. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Instead of going over the top 10 best budget beast in Madden 20 right now. Now guys, we're at a point in the year where there's some of those guys are coming in late, getting the game for cheaper, trying to start a team up this late in the year, it's going to be kind of hard. So people with limited amount of coins, but you can't get a decent amount from just leveling up. You probably can't afford to build the God Squad at this point in the year, unless you buy coins, which if you want, use code Poodle. At check, I'll check the link down below. But if not, just as well, you can go on ahead and build the budget squad. And this is why I'm giving you guys these lists, because I feel like these lists help a lot, especially if you're trying to build a team for a low amount of coins while still being able to compete online to an extent. Now guys, before we get into the video, guys, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, which comes with the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you that, shows, that still shows support at this point in the year, because I know I know things are slowing down a little bit, but I but it, for all you guys that come out every day, thank you so much. And make sure as well, guys, to comment down below if you guys need any help or have any other budget beats to add to the list. Now let's head on over to the auction block and go over my top 10 list because it is it just gonna take a little bit if I don't start nice and uh, nice and early. So the first guy on the list is a guy that's been on the list, but I did move him down to the number 10 spot because strictly based off of where we are in the game right now, speeds went up a little bit, so speed isn't as valuable as it was before at his position but he's still one of the top guys and that's tevin coleman redux 74k is a great price for him he has a 92 speed 90 excel 91 agility 89 carry 80 break tackle 81 truck 86 looseness he's the jack of all trades that's also great at speed great athleticism with the jack of all trades beyond that which is super solid considering sometimes when you get a guy like that you may get the speed but then everything else kind of sucks so it's kind of nice to see that he has everything can probably break a player too just off pure athleticism in his own right now coming in at number nine is going to be justin reed another guy that's been on this list redux card is only eighty six thousand coins which is not bad at all it does go up quite significantly after that so i'd recommend you buy the redux 91 speed 90 excel so the athletic system is great that's what you need in the budget team at this point in the year 89 play rec 87 pursuit 82 men 90 zone and 80 hit power so you get the great zone you get a zone hawk you get athleticism you get height and you get decent hit power man and pursuit he really has no deficiencies which is kind of a big part at this point in the year Next, coming up on the list, we got a guy that's one of the newer guys from the combine promo. That is Montez Sweat. This card's looking super, super solid. Look at his combine card. 93K, 96K. I'm trying to keep everything below 100K, 93 overall. 92 speed, 94 excel, 81 strength, 93 tackle, 89 play rec, 84 block shit, 80 power move, and 90 finesse move. So you compare him to a guy like Lawrence Taylor, you're pretty much getting a budget Lawrence Taylor that's actually faster, more athletic, slightly less pass rushing in the finesse move spot. He's not going to be as great in the run game, but guys, he's very comparable to Lawrence Taylor as a budget card. I highly recommend you guys to scoop him up. He'll be a great pass rusher, decently stop the run. And honestly, if he gets, he goes in the zone. He might not play the zone well, but if he, but he can stick with guys as well as get a pick potentially and take it back to the house without a level of speed. Or you can even use him if you really want to. Although I don't really recommend it, but with that kind of speed and height, you can pretty much do a few things with him. Lamar is the next guy coming in at 50k. He keeps going down, guys. You get this Lamar and you power him up. Gonna be super solid. Powering him up at this point is really not that expensive. His power up is about 35k. You can get this all total for about 85k. And if you really don't want to power him up, you can just use a base, toss a skate artist on him. His card is super solid. You're gonna be able to run around the field, create play, especially if you're a run heavy team. The best thing you can get is a running quarterback. Throw him off a little bit. If you're not pass heavy, of course. If you're pass heavy, you probably want to power him up and get his uh, passing up a little bit. Next on the list is going to be Tyree Kill. Now, everyone needs a Tyree Kill on their team, especially on a budget team. At my stage in the game, I can get guys like Calvin and guys like Reed that can just get up to them. But at your, but at, for a budget team, Tyreek's probably your best source of speed. 91 overall, team of the week. 94 speed. 90 deep route. That's all you need to know. Going to be a great deep threat. Going to be great at just short routes, toss it to him, get him open in space, and just let him run the ball. Going to be really solid with that speed, guys. He's crazy fast. Now, coming in at number five is a guy that's actually new to the list. And he, I, he, the thing is with some of these guys, they weren't on the list before because they were too expensive. But as Madden, the market comes down a little bit, we can sort of adjust our prices and get some more guys. So now, Deion Jones coming in at number five. Team of the week, 93 overall middle linebacker. He's got 89 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 tackle, 89 play rec, 84 hit power, 87 zone. Now, the reason I like Deion so much because he's versatile. You can non you, you don't have to use him, leave him in space, and you put lockdown on him times three or whatever, or you power him up. You can't get him to a 90 zone. So he'll be like a cornerback in the open field. He's gonna be able to play really great without you touching him. Or if you wish to use him, he's got the speed, the excel, the height, and he's got some hit power and tackle as well. So he's kind of like you can leave him, you can leave him be, you can use him, you can do what you want with him. So you don't have to feel like const uh, constraints using him, which I kind of hate when I have one linebacker 
that can't play zone and maybe doesn't have the greatest of summon. I'm like, I have to user him. But then my other linebacker is my user guy. So it's kind of like, it kind of sucks that I can't do that, which is why it's nice having Devin Bush and Shazier because they're both good at what they do. So I can just pick on and off who I want. Now, coming on over to the next guy, still guys, one of the budget beast quarterback kings. And it's just, it's just it's what it is at this point because he has an ability that not many other people get. If you power up this Steve Young legend card, which is one of the best budget uh, budget players all year, you power him up for a short, a cheap price, 45K plus his power up to another 2K. You can get him to dash and dead eye probably for a grand total of about 65k. Now dashing dead eye is gonna allow you to make perfect throws on the run, which guys pretty much if you see a deep route that you think like it's gonna be kinda you might not make it, you just scramble a little bit and you toss it. it like a right a standstill throw actually will probably work less accuracy than a on the run throw, which makes it really incredible that you're able to do that. So I recommend you get it as well as you're gonna be getting rushed a lot. So you can get the escape artist means you're gonna be able to run away from pressure and then throw it perfectly. Dashing dead eye is a game changer. I highly recommend you go ahead. And get a quarterback that suits that because without that you're gonna be kind of stuck considering dashing dead eye is literally that good i didn't believe it prior i used to always think that dashing dead eye was overrated but using it guys trust me the second i see a guy coming in i just scramble a little bit so i can get my space that's the issue with the skate artist on a guy like lamar you will run away from the guy with like two inches but you don't have to, you don't have space to stop and throw the ball you have to run it and if not you're gonna fumble run out of bounds or just take it up for a gain of one this way even when you're running at full speed you can just toss it which is incredible because it, with the way a skateboarder says you won't get caught so it becomes really glitchy at a point next we got ronald jones 39k for a running back which i think is pretty solid 94 speed 94 so this is tyree kill speed and athleticism at a 39k price value at running back 94 agility 87 carrying so you're getting good carrying amazing athleticism he's not the jack of all trades like tevin coleman is but he is significantly faster and more athletic than he is so you got to take that like got to pick do you want a little bit more round well rounded do you want the speed which i think i'd probably take the speed in this situation which i have him kind of where he is next on the list another middle linebacker why is that like i said guys i like i like middle linebackers i could do it all and this guy's one of them so we got devin white team of the week who is now i believe 99k which is a little bit cheaper than that but still falls in the range now what he's what's good about him is he's 90 speed 89 excel 93 tackle 92 hit power now yes he does not have the zone which is why you have to use him you really don't want to leave him alone for the most part but the difference is he does have block shed so if you leave him alone he can play the run a little bit well and if you get blocked by him you can probably get off of it as well as he's a little bit faster than Deion jones was he has way better hit power which means as a user if you see like a slant over the middle and you, you turn around and come back to it and you hit him Force the fumble, drop the pass, force the fumble on a running back. He's going to be way better, again, in the run game, which is very important at this point in the game, as well as being a little bit faster, which is kind of why I put him ahead of Deion Jones. Now, if Deion Jones had a better hit power or a better block shed, he'd be ahead of him, but he doesn't. And the zone does suck. But at the end of the day, I think in a run-heavy game, you're going to want the hit power and block shed a little bit higher. And the zone, you should have to, if you use your it's whatever. That's why if you use your he's fine. I like that the other one's a little more versatile, but again, if you leave Deion Jones alone by himself, the only thing that sucks is that if they run the ball, he's going to be getting blocked all day, which is my only downside with him. And then coming in at number one is a brand new guy to the list. I made it on the list first time, and he's already one of my number one guys. And that's because of just what you can get with him on a budget team for the price. It's pretty phenomenal, quite honestly. Coming on down to Julius Peppers, 92 overall. Right here, Julius Peppers, week 2012, week 16, 92 overall left. And look at these stats. 84 speed, 88 excel at end. 87 strength, 82 tackle, 87 play rec, 85 block shit, 85 power move, and 91 finesse. So you gotta care about. When it comes to your left end, you want the finesse move to be threshold. So there we go, 91. Gonna be one of the best finesse raw rushers in the game. You're gonna play like one of the best. Not gonna be the best, but we're gonna play like one of the best. Plus, you get crazy athleticism, crazy height, and good block shit. So he's gonna be able to stop the run. Gonna be able to make tackles. Gonna be decently strong. Gonna be able to play rec. He can do everything at left end, so he's versatile. As well as in the thing that he is good at, he's really good at it, like finesse move. And he's got the speed, which a lot of budget ends right now at this point. You're not going to get the speed and finesse move combo. You're just not going to get it. Julius Pepper is one of the more rare combos of that. Now, if you want to kick up your coin count a little bit, you could even push for the 94 one, which is kind of out of our range. But the 94 one would be even a little bit better. Slightly more athletic. Slightly better everything all around. If you really want to push, I mean, then beyond that, it gets kind of expensive. So I'd recommend you stay with one of these. This one's the cheaper budgety option. Then there's even the budgety option, which is still decent actually way more athletic than the other ones but way worse at some other stuff so there's like i think there's more of the veteran one. Oh no it's a physical card so that's really up to you guys in that front but guys that is about for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you're into the channel go down below hit that subscribe button turn that on you boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up comment down below if you need any help or want to add players to the budget team 
comment them down below and i'll try to get them on the list i'll evaluate them but that's about it thank you guys so much for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video make sure to check out today's 10 30 video about golden tickets unfl game cover athlete and everything else you guys want to see all the news you need to know but that's about it peace